Hi guys and welcome to another Dilly theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well we were asked to do a little module on the pricing table. Somebody was having a little problem. So I've created some pricing tables here, really easy to do. And just for a little bit of fun, I've given them a little hover effect here. Really easy to do, no coding involved in this today. We're just gonna build these modules and show you how to do a simple scale effect like that. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. Once enabled, I'm going to go down to where I want to work, right here. And let's just delete this section and we'll start from scratch. Okay, well I'm going to pop in a new section. A little purple button to add a new section. The reason it's purple and not blue is I've got a full width section above, so it's purple. Usually it'd be blue for a section. I'm going to put the regular section in, the blue one. Inside that, I'm going to put a single column. It's going to prompt us to put in a module. Divi comes as standard with all these great modules, plenty enough to build just about any site here. I want the pricing tables today. There we are. Simply going to left click. And as you see, it's put some kind of generic looking pricing tables in there for us, which are fine. What I'm going to do, it's put in two for us. I'm going to delete the second one and I'm going to style up the first one until we've got it how we want it and then we'll copy it over. Okay, well, let's go into here. Little cog. Obviously, put your table title in there. Whatever you want yours to say, obviously. And you can put a subtitle in if you want or just delete it if you don't want one in there. As you can see, that's put that up in here. Currency, obviously we put your currency up there that you want to charge or, or get rid of it if you're doing something that doesn't require a currency. Dollars is fine for me at the moment. If you want to add something like per month, you can just type it in there. And as you see, it'll put a little forward slash in there and add it for you. I'm not going to worry about that today, but that's a nice little option if you want reoccurring monthly fees. Obviously, the price goes in here. Let's make it interesting. <laughs> now, if you want a button, buy now, or whatever it is you want to say, so you can redirect them to a new page, you put it in right here. And down below, we've actually got the features. And obviously, write in what you want your features to be here. Hosting, storage, solid state drives, whatever it is you're advertising there. I'm going to leave them as the generic. And you might notice we've got some that are dulled out there when it says this feature is not included. To change one from dulled out to active, all you have to do is change the minus sign here to a plus sign. I think this is where a lot of people get lost. So I've selected the minus sign, I'm going to hit plus. And now you can see it's bolded it the same as the other ones. Obviously it still says that, but you change it to what you want there. I'm going to change that back to a minus. And it'll fade out again. There we go, great. And of course you can add more just by going down and adding a plus or a minus and what you want it to say. Great. Just down below we've got a link. And here's where you put the link for your button if you want to take them to your sales page or wherever it is you want to take them to your PayPal to make a payment. I'm just going to put a hashtag in there. Once I put that in there, you'll see the button turn up at the bottom. There it is. Because before we put a link in there, that's not going to show up. Okay. Now, if you want your whole module to link somewhere and the button to link somewhere else, we've already got our button and link in there. You can put a separate link in here, take them somewhere else, or you can put the same link in if you want them to go to the same page, obviously. And always best practice, if you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If you're linking to PayPal or somewhere to make a payment or to somebody else's site, open it in a new tab so that your site stays open. Fantastic. Let's give this a bit of a background color. There's background just below. I want a kind of blue, so I'm going to select blue, but I'm going to drop down because I want a bit of lighter blue than that, perhaps something like this. Yeah, that'll work for me absolutely perfectly. And we're going to change the colouring of these sections up here as we go along. 
Great, so we've got that going on. Let's move over to our design tab now and start designing. If we look at the layout, you can make it featured and I'll do that with one in a minute when I've copied this one. I'll leave that alone for the time being on this one. If we go down, we've got our bullets right there and you can change the color of them. But I'm happy for mine to be that default color. Just gonna hit Control Z or Z to undo that. It'll take it back to how it was. Okay, down below we've got text. I want mine to be kind of aligned in the middle here we've got left, middle, right and justified. I'm going to pop, pop mine in the middle there. Fantastic. Not going to give it any box shadow or anything. For small texture, if I give it text shadow, it tends to make it look a little blurry for me. It tends to work on bigger text. Okay, and then we've got our title text up here. And you can style that differently from the body text. I'll leave it as white, but let's perhaps capitalize it. And I'll leave it just like that. DVS standard comes with a huge amount of fonts. If you just click on the default there, it'll bring up this box. If you want to audition a font, just simply roll over it and it'll give you an example of that font. I'm going to leave mine on the default here today. And of course you can give it extra weight. Let's just make it perhaps semi-bold. So I'm going to click on regular. I'm going to hit semi-bold. As you can see, that's slightly boldened that up a little bit. Okay, moving on now. I might give that a bit of text shadow because it's a lot bigger. Let's try this one. That's not bad. Or this one. I think I kind of like the first one better. Now here we've got the body text, which is down here. Subtitle text is right there. And you've got all the same options. I'm not going to go through those two. Here we've got our price text. I think I'm going to change our price text. I'm going to make the background color perhaps white. And let's bolden up that text and perhaps give it a bit of text shadow too. Price text color, I'm going to make the default blue, which is slightly darker. Size is okay. I'm going to make it semi-bold or bold. Let's try semi-bold. Yeah, that's fine. And like I said, I think I'll add a bit of text shadow to that as well fantastic now while we're in here I'm going to make that top bit the title a different color background too so if we roll back up to our title text here we've got a background color I'm going to make that the default blue also great starting to shape up now if we start rolling down a little bit more we've just done our price text You've got the currency text right there and frequency if you said per month or whatever it was your frequency was. So currency and frequency text color. I'm going to change that to perhaps black. Let's turn that little symbol black. Let's just take that up slightly in size. There we go. Something like that works for me. Fantastic. And let's roll on down. And again, you've got all the same features for the text there. Excluded item text, that's the stuff that's grayed out here. Or we can make it really stand out by giving it a different color. I'm going to make mine red. And again, I don't think I'll use any text shadow or anything like that. Down below, we've got a button. I'm going to style that slightly. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Let's hit the button. I'm going to use custom styles for button. I'm going to give it our nice dark blue background there. Text color I'm going to make white here. I don't want to bring it up in size any. I'm happy with the way that it is. Here's our button background. I'm going to make that the default blue. There it is. I'm going to take the border away. Just down below, button border width. I'll flip it up one and flip it back to zero and there's no border. Obviously you can change your border color just as you can with the button color. I'd like that button to perhaps change color on hover. And this is common to most Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing, you'll see some little icons appear. Go to the thing you want to affect, our background color here. We'll click on the arrow. That's going to give us two options. An option called desktop, which means when your mouse is not on it, I'll leave it as blue. And I'm going to click on the arrow. And this gives us an option called hover, which obviously is when your mouse is hovering over it. And when the mouse is on it, let's change it to perhaps purple. 
that works for me and the time that it takes to go from desktop to hover state by default with Divi is 300 milliseconds which is pretty quick if you want to slow it down or even speed it up you can do so in the advanced over here go down to transitions there's the default 300 milliseconds I'm going to slow it down to perhaps just over half a second which would be 500 let's make it 600 say don't want any delay I want it to happen as soon as their mouse hits it and I'll leave that speed curve for a lot of hover effects I tend to use ease in ease out these are all slightly different subtly different and some will work better than others in certain situations but I'm going to leave mine just as it is for this particular one great well if we go back to our button there I think I'm pretty much done with that I might just want to give it a little bit of box shadow down underneath now you can choose to show a button icon if you want to by flipping this to yes and Divi's just teamed up with the font awesome so there's a huge amount you can do a search in here if you want to or you can hit the little icon up over here and it'll pop out to a breakout box where it'll make it easier for you to see what's going on there and like I say there's a lot of them since they teamed up you're not going to be sure but I don't particularly want an icon on my button for this particular feature down below obviously you can align your button left center or right I think center is going to work for me now take shadow on a button even though that's not real large I might put a bit on because that will make it stand out against that field slightly I don't know if you can see that or not now that I put it on but it's just sort of bolding it out a little bit works for me if we roll down just a little bit I'm not going to style this button anymore but I will give it a little drop shadow on the bottom there or box shadow I'm getting my Photoshop and my Divi terms mixed up there box shadow great rolling on down don't want to change any of the spacing you can change the padding left right up and down bottom top if you want to there I am going to give it perhaps a one pixel border so I'm going to select all four sides you can do top right bottom and left separately if you want to but I'm going to do all four I want to give it say one pixel it's okay but if I make it dark it'll stand out a bit more that's probably a little too dark I'm going to click on the actual color field itself I'm going to take that up to about halfway by grabbing that little circle there and making it slightly lighter gray obviously this is all up to you okay and to finish off all I'm going to do is add a little bit of box shadow to lift it off the page on the bottom there fantastic now I added that little hover effect so it sort of grew a little bit when we put our mouse on it. To do that, like I say, there's no coding involved. Still on the design tab, we can roll on down to transform at the bottom. And the first one is transform scale. Now scale is size, so if we use this one, we can make it slightly bigger. So when we're not hovering over it, again, I'm going to go up over the dark writing. There's a little arrow there. I'm going to click on it, bring up the desktop and hover state. Desktop state, want it to be exactly how it is. When we hover over it, I think I'm going to have it grow to perhaps 120%. So let's put 120 in there. It'll put the percent in for you. As you can see, that's scaled up by 120. And we've already set our transition in here so we can't set it separately for the actual scale we're stuck with what we did for our button transition there which is half a second which actually is going to work fine for me obviously you can decide which works better the button or the scale effect and put it to whatever works for what you're doing there okay we're pretty much done with this one so I'm going to say this this will take us back to the main pricing table pricing table settings now what I'm going to do is clone this module twice once and once again and we've now got three there obviously so we want to go into the second one change it out slightly because I'm sure we don't want them all the same and let's say best value on this one and obviously price is going to go up say 55.99 
button and everything else can stay the same I'm going to change the colors up a bit I'm going to make this our featured one so if we go over to our design now we looked at this earlier on right at the top we've got layout make this featured and what it's going to do it's going to pull it up slightly from the rest there we go which is nice but I thought the coloring would be nice to you know a little different color than the other two and I guess we want to call it package two so if I go back to the text package two and again let's go to our design and the title text I'm just going to change the background color up there to perhaps a purple color and if we go down I'm going to leave the price that purple color as well here's our pricing text price text color I'll make that purple there we go and now for our background we need to go back to the content down to background there's the blue color we looked at let's make it purple it's a bit too much there let's open this up and find a more subtle looking purple something like that yeah that's good you can read everything fine there and we want to add a couple of features to this as well so still in the content we'll go back to our text and we'll make this feature included so I'm going to just change that to a plus there we go so they've got that extra feature with this one and let's maybe change that button up and do the reverse of the other two buttons so again in the design we go down to button and we're just going to switch out the background colors regular desktop state I'm going to make that purple when they hover over it I'm going to make it blue and as you can see it's scaled up because we've got that scale effect on hover too fantastic we'll pop it back to desktop and it will shrink back down again great okay well let's move on to our third one then which is this one right here package three call it gold whatever you want to call yours obviously I move this out of the way we still got that one scaled up at the moment price wise it's got to go up and of course we want to make these features accessible as well I'm not going to change the text but I'm sure you get the idea so we've got all of those now and it's actually the right colors I'm going to leave those colors exactly the, the way they are of course you're going to want to go down to your link and change the button link for each one to the correct pricing or PayPal or whatever it is you're doing with it and apart from that we should be good to go so let's save our changes now we'll save the main pricing table changes let's go down to our little purple button click on it we'll save the page changes and let's exit the visual builder and we'll roll on down and there's our little pricing tables right there when I hover over one it's going to grow of course you can click on the button it'll change colors same with our middle one it'll change the blue for us there and the same with our little bronze package there so there you go guys there's some animated pricing tables for you really easy to do I hope that's helped you out whoever it was that asked that question I don't have that in front of me right now but there's some animated pricing tables for you really easy to do and that's a great little thing to have on your site so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and web design and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day